Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to set up a WordPress plugin called as Rank Math. So I already written an article on this which we can refer in this video. It has all the information about uh, why I switched from WordPress SEO Yoast to Rank Math SEO plugin. And the things that we are going to cover in this video is how to install the WordPress SEO plugin which is nothing but the Rank Math. How to do a general settings on the WordPress SEO plugin as well as setting up the titles and meta settings. And generating the XML sitemap that we need to submit in our Google search console. And there are some of the extra features that are there in this plugin which is 404 monitor and redirection as well as site wide SEO analysis. So these all things are we are going to cover in this video. Without further delay, let's get started. I have my demo site open. So let us go and install the SEO plugin for now. So the plugin name is Rank R A N K Math. So this is the first plugin, just install it. So it has almost 60,000 plus active installation with the 401 5 star ratings. So once the plugin is created, it's asking you to create the free account that will synchronize between the rank math as well as your WordPress installation. If you want to activate, just go ahead and activate. If not, then you can just skip. So there will be some features that are going to be limited if you are not uh, activated the rank math. So this is the start of wizard which has all the things that we have. So let's start the wizard for now. So what type of blog it is. So let's say it's my personal blog. If you want to upload any logo and uh, the social sharing images like the banner image that we want to add in the social media that you can add. So for now I will skip this step. So if you want to authorize the search console, the Google search console, you can get the authorization code and then authorize it. And uh, in the drop down you will have a profile like what all search console pro properties are there in your search console that will be appearing in here. So I don't have anything, let me skip that. Sitemap, so sitemap, which I told that XML sitemap that we will be using for submitting the search console. So just turn it on. Uh, whether you want to include the images, say yes. Whether you want to include the post and pages, say yes. Categories, I would personally not prefer it and I wouldn't suggest you because that will create a lot of duplications in the submitted sitemap so just deselect the categories or tags or authors or date uh, hierarchy, uh, archive all those things you can just deselect it save and continue next is optimization like what all things we want to optimize for like whether we want the tags and archives to be no index i would say yes no follow the image file links i would say yes it will uh, no follow all the external links image links that we have hyperlinked on our blog post no follow the external links uh, i wouldn't say to turn it on i would say rather keep it off just keep it as default open the new external open external links in the new tab yes go ahead with that strip the category base so so this is something like uh, whenever we uh, have a blog post created, it has a category, a term in the slug URL. So say suppose uh, this here, this simple example here is example slash category slash whatever the category you have, say suppose books. And if you want to remove this category term from the URL, you can just uh, enable this uh, button. So I will just turn it on and it will become like example slash my category i mean example slash books that's all in this let's save and continue our plugin is now set up so let's do the advanced setup now so the 404 and the redirection monitor so by default it is turned off i would say turn it on uh, if you are using like a, a shared hosting server where you have a limitations of resources and all just keep this off or else if you turn it on there is no harm so just for me i'm using a cloud server and i would suggest you to use the same for the, uh, the digital ocean cloud server you can just turn it on redirection monitor you can just turn it on so whenever you change the slug URL, the redire redirection will help in automatically creating a redirection URL. 
say for example like uh, in this blog post I created the WordPress SEO plugin as a URL say suppose a few days after later if I uh, change the URL to WordPress SEO and remove the plugin words what happens is uh, this redirection will help in creating a redirection URL so what whoever the user clicks on uh, clicks or access this WordPress SEO plugin will be redirected to WordPress SEO so those all uh, automatic you know, redirections will be added so save and continue next I had a missing uh, ALT tab you can just turn it on uh, if there are any missing ALT um, attribute uh, which is necessary for uh, Google search or any search engine to uh, recognize what that image actually is about you can just add it so what this does is it will add the title tag in the image alt attribute and then uh, it will help the Google search engine to identify that this image actually belongs to this particular post or this image is about books or something else like that rich snippet just turn it on so for all the rich snippet type for the post uh, it should be articles so there are some others as well like books uh, say suppose if you are uh, creating a blog for recipes then you can just go and select the recipes or if you are creating a blog post for review then you can just go and select the review so there are multiple uh, snippet types that are there for each post so you can change the settings when you're posting your uh, blog post so this setting is also available there but this is the general global uh, setting default setting so article type uh, whether it's article or a blog post or a news article so depending upon the your needs you can just select either of it I would uh, rather prefer it to keep it default let snippet type type for the pages this you can keep it as a anything like software application or just based on your needs like you can change it uh, whenever you want and the article type for the page would be article and then save and continue now we have made the preliminary changes so there are something which are still inactive in here so let's go and activate it so 404 I would activate link counter it will help in counting the external and internal link from that particular post so keep it enable if you are uh, using if your blog post is uh, targeting any local region like say suppose uh, New York specific uh, to a particular region then you can enable this local SEO if your website or blog is for the global audience just keep it off redirection monitor yes you should uh, turn it on red snippet keep it on uh, role manager so uh, if uh, you have a multiple level of roles in your blog blog who manages uh, like authors contributors then to have that particular set of uh, what we say like permissions to the rank math plugin you can enable this role role manager for me I am the only one person so I would just keep it uh, turn off search console whether you want to connect the search console like in our first uh, step where we had asked for the search console authorization code if we have that setting then we can just activate for now since I haven't added any authorization code I will keep it off but I would suggest strongly suggest you to keep it enable SEO analysis is nothing but it will do some 70 plus tests based on which it will give analysis of what the entire blog or entire site uh, is missing and where it is uh, perfectly set up for SEO so just keep it enabled sitemap is nothing but the index sitemap XML file that we will be submitting to the search console so keep it enabled WooCommerce if you're running an e-commerce site then you can just enable this for WooCommerce optimization so this is all about the dashboard and the preliminary setups let's go into the general settings for now so whatever things we have covered till now it's all of the same thing just that here all are the advanced uh, a granular level of uh, settings that you can do so for links for images to enable or disable the breadcrumbs a webmaster tool where you can add the authorization code robots.txt file where to allow and where to disallow all those uh, access for uh, what we say our search engine dot uh, ht access uh, since I'm running on the nginx lamp stack so I don't have access to ht access uh, but if you're running on a Apache server or a shared hosting server which generally has the Apache server then this uh, file would be used for your modifications and all other stuff 
404 monitor is nothing but if the person is visiting a lot of 404 pages then it will keep a log so here we have a log of 100 limit so keep it uh, as it is redirection like i said i mentioned it will redirect all the all the page visits from the old url to the new url so just uh, keep it so there are other behaviors like whether you want to show them the default 404 page or you want to redirect them to a home page or any custom page that you want to show them so you can do that so the auto post redirect this is what i would suggest you to turn it on uh, with when you update the url it will automatically add it into the redirection section and then it will be auto post redirect so let's save this others is nothing but uh, how the rank math uh, website want to control whether they want whether you want to send the usage tracking to them or to update and uh, sh show the SEO score so all those stuff here and also the RSS feeds like if you want to add anything in here you can just add it moving on to titles and meta so like I mentioned in the wizard we had a very basic level so here you can go detail page by page like how your local SEO you want to show the social media the all the pages and the URLs so I would suggest you to have at least three or four social media pages which includes Facebook Twitter LinkedIn company pages it's it's optional uh, Pinterest and uh, Instagram and the YouTube channel of course so these all things you can add in in here uh, next is the home page how your home page title should be displayed uh, so just keep it as it is and if you want to add any meta description I mean I would suggest you to add a meta description here that would help in uh, identifying like identifying the search engine what website or what blog you're actually running so all this information you can just fill in post formats so whether you want to enable the post format post formats are nothing but uh, the formats that are apart from the post as well as pages so anything like uh, in my restore bin blog I use uh, something called as simple URL which uh, helps in creating the referral URL so those all comes under the post formats authors if you are a single author of your blog and uh, you don't want uh, to create an author page a separate author page then you can just disable if you are uh, running a multi authored blog then just keep it enabled uh, that would be useful so for me since uh, I'm the single author just I will disable it miscellaneous pages uh, date archive I don't want to have a date archive so I will just disable and it's up to you whether you want to have or not and there are some other data uh, search results uh, no index yes I don't want no index the pagination yes I don't want no index the sub archives of pages yes I don't want to index protected pass yes so these all I have no index because this will create a lot of duplications and uh, what do we say like a lot of pages that are really not necessary for Google or the website to rank so just turn this all stuff off next we have to move to posts so post is nothing but the blog post that you post on your website so I have this sample post that is CND test so it's showing like what how the title will appear and what is the X recept so X recept you can uh, add in uh, a while re writing the post so yeah like I mentioned there is snippet type you can uh, modify whether you want to have an article or something else and even this option is available in the individual post when you're posting headlines description all those stuff link suggestion you can turn it on uh, it will auto suggest what are the relative links in that blog post so it's it's useful for you to hyperlink in the blog post to create the internal links so whether you want the inter links to be suggestion in the title or focus keywords uh, let's say focus keyword make more sense to me primary taxonomy uh, in which the uh, breadcrumbs should be appearing so you can choose either categories tags or formats so the category would make more sense to me add as your meta box uh, it's nothing but the uh, meta box that appear in any uh, post when we are editing so let me just show you what meta box is 
so this is the meta box uh, when you are creating a new post or a page then you will have this something called as rank math SEO and this all extra added uh, fields and the labels uh, this is nothing but the meta box where you can customize the SEO based on this particular post how the title should appear how the description should be how the permalink should be and uh, what type of post it should be and uh, also like how you want to exclude or include the headers breadcrumbs and all those things you can just customize here based on your needs so like i mentioned there is snippet you can select you can change whether if you're posting this particular article as a recipe you can just go select the recipe and then publish it as a recipe okay moving back so similar to the post we have the pages which has all the same settings that you have that we spoke about in the post so it's almost the similar moving on to media so media is uh, nothing but the images and posts that we upload in our uh, blog post so this has almost the same st uh, similar uh, configuration that we have in the post and the pages uh, the one thing that we did the settings in the general settings was uh, for the redirect attachments which is nothing but we have turned it on so whenever image is uploaded a particular url is created in the wordpress backend and uh, what we have added here is we have enabled it to redirect it to the post instead of creating that particular url for that particular image so this meta for the images are no longer valid for us because people are never going to get the image url or i mean the image post url so just ignore this step and moving on to categories so category whether you want to add the meta box or not since we have disabled the category indexation so there is no need to do any settings so you can just turn it off and uh, save changes next is tags uh, since we have also disabled for no indexation you can just turn off the SEO meta box and then just leave it so this was all about the SEO titles and the metas moving on to next into the sitemap settings so sitemap is nothing but the xml sitemap that we want that our wordpress block to be indexed in google search console so this uh, sitemap is also submitted in the bing webmaster tools so let me just quickly access this so it's currently saying 404 there is some settings remaining for this uh, because I'm using the Nginx uh, I would be adding that setting in our uh, blog post I missed this part we need to add one small snippet uh, in our Nginx configuration file to make this uh, run let me access it again yes it's blocking because we have secured our uh, Nginx pretty tight so it's not even allowing us to access the sitemap index XML file no worries uh, let's see so here we can uh, enable the sitemap for in images that means the image URL will be added into Google search and uh, include the feature image you can turn it on or off based on whether your feature image and the post images are different or the same so in my case I use one of the image in my post as a feature image so I would keep it off uh, ping search engine uh, which is uh, good uh, whenever we submit uh, a post or write a content so a ping is uh, sent to search engines wherever we have submitted the sitemap uh, like whether we have submitted it in our google search console or a bing webmaster tool a ping is sent uh, which uh, says that okay this blog has uh, added the new content please consider it adding to your index something like that something in similar lines so moving on to the 404 monitor so currently it's empty uh, 404 monitor is nothing but if you are accessing any broken links on your website uh, those uh, links are added in here you can just manage it uh, through what all the links are getting 404 whether you have deleted any particular page or user accessing a page which is not at all uh, there on your website so all those are uh, logs are added in here so we have set up say uh, we have set up with the hundred logs after that the logs will be the older logs will be deleted and the new logs will be added next is redirection so like i said at the start of the video it's nothing but adding the redirection say suppose your uh, old post has changed the url the slug url then you can add the redirection to 
move that traffic to the new URL instead of uh, navigating to old 404 errors. So whenever you uh, edit the blog post URL, uh, that URL is automatically added just in case if you want to add manually then you can just go and add it here so once you add it uh, you can also export it to nginx configuration file or .ht access configuration file and you can just uh, upload and delete this redirection so that is the advanced level i wouldn't suggest you just keep the redirection all the redirections in this year so last thing that we are going to cover here is in seo analysis yeah, so like I mentioned at the start that uh, some of the features won't be available because we haven't added or uh, we haven't linked the rank math account. So once we add the rank math account, uh, there will be an option here to analyze the entire site, which will show all the results like uh, uh, they will be testing the plugin will be testing on the 70 different parameters and uh, show what all uh, blog post or what all the different uh, things that we need to optimize to rank the website better. So for that we need to create a rank math account and as well as link the website to rank math. Since it's a demo site I'm not going to do this but uh, yeah I would suggest you to do that and uh, it will give a relatively good feedback about what are the optimization uh, efforts that we need to take for, take for our website to make our uh, ranking better. So lastly there is import and export uh, which we are not going to cover like generally whether you want to import from any ex external plugin like if you want to migrate from WordPress uh, SEO by Yoast to Rank Math or uh, all-in-one SEO to Rank Math so those all things you can just uh, make those imports and exports so overall i would say this is a great plugin uh, which has a lot of features the premium features which were available uh, at a cost for in uh, wordpress seo by yoast but uh, this plugin is being developing and there are a lot of features new features coming in uh, yesterday i was uh, reading their uh, website going through their all the support pages as well as the features that are they are going to come up so i found it pretty much uh, great plugin at a no cost like it's rank math is absolutely free so that's all in this video uh, i hope you liked it uh, i know i took it pretty much fast but uh, if you have guys have any questions about the settings or anything that you think of just feel free to comment or post in the below comment section or on the video comments uh, i would be happy to help you thanks guys cheers have a great day